Hey guys, Seymour Goodies here, and welcome back to another episode of The Walking Dead. In the last episode, a crazy asshole tried to kill Duck. Um, we met a few other crazy people. Clementine hurt her finger, and that's essentially it. We're looking for... It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're going to help Larry. We're looking for pills for the crazy asshole so that... Uh, I think he had a heart attack, something like that. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I... Uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Uh... No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. I'm just, I don't want to, I don't want to lie to her. I just, it's not right. And I know I should, I should be a little, I should withhold a little more information from her. But I mean, Heard she's got to grow anything. up now. Nothing, luckily. Want to? Step outside, have a look around. <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. That sounds fucking uh, stupid. But okay. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. So. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. That guy over there has the keys. Oh, no. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys oh, it's being our on brother. the office is made as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Cousin or something. We just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Think you can do anything with this? Yeah, I used to fiddle around with stuff like that when I was a kid, but there's not much to do with it now. Man, I miss my robots. Robots? You're a strange guy, Doug. I know. Oh. Oh, yeah. What are the chances? Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? Universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. I just hope the power is still on. You just memorize the codes? You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was <laughs> okay. in the TV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? I mean, it's... I can't even really hear it. Got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. I can't reach that brick. I have to reach it. Doug, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. What? Did anyone ever have it? Look, man. There were a lot of those things trying to get in here. 
And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. God, shut up, you know. I can't reach I, I know, I know. But I figured I could break the window or something. No. <laughs> Open sesame. That won't work. I was kidding. <laughs> it's universal, but not that universal. I know, Doug. Uh, I know, Doug. Well, I guess... Well, there's not really much I can do out here anymore. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Okay. Oh, can't get that. Might as well go back inside. Let's head back inside. Okay. I think I forget. I think I have one battery. So we'll get we'll see if we can get that to um to Carly. Fuck are you, Carly? We're in a big circle here. <laughs> I'm not good at walking in this game. Here's a battery. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. Talk to Carly. I found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. Okay. May I talk to you? Hey there. Oh, I'm still looking for batteries again. for that day. Thanks. I appreciate it. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Head out? Where are we? Uh, yes. Yeah. Let's go. Where are we going? Oh, I guess this is where... Did you see that? Sure did. Be ready to shoot. Guys! Oh, man. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn! I think we were supposed to be checking and talking so for him, but I didn't... Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trap. I don't even know there. we could come in. No way! We gotta go! Now! Listen, I was out here looking for gas. Then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was. I mean, you. we might as well try. Fine, let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Hey, don't be a bitch about it. We're gonna do our best. Three, four, five. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quiet. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Oh. She, she's eating something. Hmm? So we got that one right there, close. There's one back there, trying to get into a room. But I didn't see anyone actually in there. I mean, I'm pretty sure that guy would see us. Ooh, I want. Oh. <laughs> hey, man, that drew some attention. Be careful. Okay. 
Sorry. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. Um. What do I do? How are you going to kill that one by the car without attracting the others? Their growling attracts the others. So you said. No. We can do something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fellow lurking near the front. Yeah, that's a clue. Let's run back over here. probably get into um I mean it wouldn't really be that much quieter but and it didn't seem like we could get through either way but maybe we can quietly smash through this window so pick in the truck what are you gonna do with that I don't really know do you have any tricks for getting into cars not without tools or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. <laughs> punch. I'm done trying to punch out windows. Punch it with the pillow. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do yeah, yeah, yeah. I made not a without mistake. tools or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. Oh, maybe we can kill this guy. Get out your gun. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. This is like some bad sci-fi movie shit. Would that work? That was sick. <laughs> Seriously, would it? Someone let me know. Oh, I didn't even see that guy. Go. No. Going up. Can we get in here? Oh, it's, we have to put it in neutral. I get it. Right here? It's a spark. <laughs> a spark plug. You should hold on to that. How? 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 I mean, in the in the very near future, I can see how it would possibly be useful in the long term. It was awesome. <laughs> I'm hella oblivious. Can I please just be in this in this room or in this car? Let's see if the spark plug will help. Oh my god, if it helps. Let me see the spark plug. The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Wait, really? Again, really? The fuck? That's not quiet at all. I thought we would have to rub it on the edges, not just pimp slap it open. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. All right, all right. We are pretty boss. I don't know. Can I stab you? Stab. I want to stab you. <laughs> stab. <laughs> Step. Step. I'll wait for him to get closer. I want to stab him now. Close. Step. Oh no! no, no. Step. Gotcha, bitch. That looks much better. I want that. Here, you take this. Hold that for me. Thank you. And I will grab the axe. 
Dude, where'd your weapon go? It's to that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? <laughs> we are kinda acting like little kids playing Call of Duty. Two more. Let's go, that bro. Alright. This was easier than I thought it would be. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay. We'll be right behind you. There are only two up there. We'd be better off with but I guess they're pretty useless. Her weapon's loud and Glenn has nothing going on for him right now. Face. I'm clicking your face. All these really poetic, hippie looking zombies. I've come to rescue you. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. She gave up so quick. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Are we? Okay, it's a little presumptuous, but... Stop! Just stop! I'm coming out. Yeah, I went through all this trouble. You're hurt. Oh God. I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said oh. go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. It's insane. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. Calm down. You have a boyfriend? Lynn. <laughs> I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please. Just leave me. Please go. Um. Just come with us. Come with us. We will find you. Normally I would not say that. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please. I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Wouldn't killing yourself make you go to hell? Oh, oh, oh. Give it to oh. me. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No. Do it. Look at her, Carly. There's no happy ending to this. Okay. Fine. Thank you. Who are you to decide? Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. You sure? Yeah. Uh -oh. God bless you. All right. I need to hear that. God bless you too. I mean, if it gave me the, if it gave me the option, I would have offered to shoot her. Oh yeah, Glenn delivered uh, pizzas. I remember it was funny when they in the show when they asked him what he did before. He Everyone all right? Me. Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine. And well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out. Of won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Well, can we do that now? 
I don't even, I mean, I don't really know how much we just did. What was wrong with it? Did we even try the door? Oh, we have an axe now! Huzzah. Is there no freaking battery? I want Carly to be my BFF, and I don't see that happening without batteries. Do we have batteries in here? The emergency birthday batteries? Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Nope. Let's just bust out of here. <clears throat> no? Uh, the keys are on that zombie out on the street. I really thought we made a breakthrough. Huh. Yeah, almost worth a shot. Keys it is, I guess. Well. Dag on that. Okay, well no fucking Oh, but the axe. Maybe it'll work on that outside door. I still have no idea what I'm doing with the battery situation though. I feel like I really have looked around the whole store. You got batteries? How you doing, man? You know. I mean, how? Back the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. But that's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. You let her do it, you know. You said give her the gun. I know I did. Why the hell would you do that? Mercy, man. I couldn't let her go on like that. We couldn't. You never know. You can't give up hope. I yeah, think it was over for her, Glenn. Do you know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Uh <laughs> oh, you know. I thought I'd go stretch my legs. You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. Uh, okay. What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling. Don't plenty. Try to get some rest. Huh. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, well, I think the axe will do it. I've got nothing for you. Yeah, axe will probably do it. How we doing? Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? Yep. Let's have a look around. Okay. If this doesn't work, then I'm fucked. Sweet. Awesome. I'm not now to distract those things. things carefully. I can't reach that brick. I mean, dude, come on, just do something yourself. Got me having a point. So we'll probably um break the glass and then TV will be a lot of shit for a few minutes. I'm not a very good aim and I don't have very much upper body strength in real life. That would not have been a success for me. Now's the time. Careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Shut the fuck up, though. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry I wouldn't be I know we shouldn't roll around in it, but... But need you to take care of him to work. That helped. Oh, 
Oh no, why? Uh, I definitely feel like that would not have been enough. Oh shit, talking mushrooms. Come on, this is fucked up. Just hit him in the skull. Why do we have to sever his head completely? <laughs> yeah, finally. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Just give me the keys, dude. There we go. Inside. Holy crap! Run! Well, maybe if you hadn't fucking shouted. Yeah, you could you could have at least given it the appearance of clothes, so that the stupid zombies would have been fooled. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. Got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Yep. Got really nothing to say. That was sad as hell. Oh no. Oh no. We gotta hurry. Someone else had a similar screwdriver. Or pick, whatever they called it. Well, that doesn't look too bad. It's her. Yeah, take your time. Oh. Time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back. Did we get the medicine? Fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. I do. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. I don't feel comfortable with that. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. Away from the windows. Windows. We don't make it through. Shut up. You should know that I think you're a great guy. Oh shit. Uh, we'll make it through. We will make it through this. Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know. Oh. oh come, on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Shit. Are, you, are you sure? Shit. Oh, shit. Okay then. Give it time. Can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Oh no, 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 no. Get get out. Give it time. Did you find anything? Nothing. Wait. That window is screwed. Go. Oh no, no. I found something. Oh, give me that. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. No. I'm gonna save Carly. Of course I am. Oh, fuck. Oh, 
on with a good style. Oh my god. I mean, it just made more Let's sense, go. like, for the plot. And oh also... God, I don't care. Oh no, you don't! Get off me. Get off. Go on, Clementine. <gasps> oh my god. No. No. Oh shit. I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. Especially a good friend. Yeah, good friend. Sign our bitches. Motel? I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. I guess this is Sounds a... like nobody knows what's happening there. Right before what the show. A few days ago. Could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. If they go from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. You do what you can, dude. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Earlier... I uh, mentioned you gotta ask yourself what you're gonna do if Clementine's parents don't show. Yeah, you did. You think that's gonna happen? Her parents showing up? No, I don't. Well, I want you to know that I think you've got it in you. I think you can take care of that little girl just fine. Thanks, Kitty. You got it. The ankles changed, threw me off a little bit. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Carly. It's okay. Thanks, though. There's been a lot of death in the past few days. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What? What is it? How did you choose? 
We both needed you. You picked me. I was going to help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. At least one of you made it. Get... She doesn't seem... The lady doesn't seem to want your company, Duck. Dumatron had this minigun on his shoulder. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought a super dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. Yeah. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. Yeah, we will. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. Oh, man. Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? Mm. Yeah, she's great. Yeah, she's great. Fantastic. Well, stay the fuck away from her. Or what? Or, uh... Everyone will know that you, Lee Everett, are a killer. Oh, and you were before it was something you had to do to stay alive. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? Not really. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Sure. Okay. In the chapter 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 1. Sounds right. Episode. Thought it'd be fun yeah. if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. Or we starving. gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the babies. Yeah. Now we're gonna take I'd be more afraid of humans to dominate the Walkers. What's that? Oh shit, I'm, I almost completely picked the least popular choices. No one chose Duck because he's a stupid asshole.
Wait, I lied? I thought I was being honest. We we lied to Herschel. What do we say? I don't really remember. Most people didn't side with Kenny. Um I mean I wasn't I was I'm gonna give her the gun. I'd do it again. Fuck it. And we saved Clark. Alright, that's the end of episode one of The Walking Dead. I will see you guys soon when we will start episode two. I'm going to let these credits roll for a minute, but you know, see more out.